No holiday party is complete without food and drinks, but if you want to step outside of the typical wine and cheese pairings, our expert next guest can help. AJ Kayami is here to dive into the world of wine and dessert. AJ is the owner and beverage director for The Sip on South Lamar in Oxford, Mississippi. Welcome to Live at Nine. Thank you. Okay, I heard the champagne pop and I said, okay, it's a party. All right, tell us about Sip and South Lamar. Um, so we opened the restaurant in 2019, my wife and I, um, and I've been in the beverage industry for 20 20 years. Um, I'm also in a package retailer. Um, so natural progression, my wife was a wedding planner, an event planner. Oh. And so we wanted to do something a little different. Um, something alcohol focused, but still fun and nice and high in lounge. And we opened the Sip on South Lamar, which is a wine and top of bar. And lots of alcohol, lots of fun, uh, fun night out. Yeah, um, it's been I, great. I, I went. I was telling you, I went down the rabbit hole. I went on the Instagram, and I was just like looking at all the beautiful pictures. It's such a gorgeous space. Um, let's talk about the secret to pairing um, desserts and wines. What what is that secret? So the secret to pairing is. <laughs> If you want to be food focused, your wine should complement. You don't ah. want your wines to overpower your food. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, when, especially with desserts, you would think a sweet wine with a sweet dessert. Well, that doesn't really work all the time. So the sweeter your food is, the less sweet your wine becomes. So your taste buds don't react well to a sweeter wine. So it, it's better to complement with a lighter, drier wine, sparkling wine, um, with your sweeter dessert, so. Wow, why am I, I mean, I don't know why that didn't occur to me. It's a food for thought, literally. I, okay, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So um, talk to me about uh, the coming new year. Um, any practical tips that you have? Oh yeah, absolutely. So um, today I brought two different Proseccos because okay. I know if everyone's like me with four <laughs> children and huge Christmas, uh, things get a little tight after the holidays. <laughs> uh, you can spend a fortune on your holiday bubbles. You can buy Dom Perignon and your French champagnes that are hundreds of dollars a bottle. I brought the Proseccos um, because they're from Italy and they're much more approachable. So these are about a $15.99 retail price point. So you can still ring in your new year without breaking the bank. Um, and it's a lot of fun. It's very approachable. Uh, wine can be very intimidating to people that don't really know. Um, nice. So it's, it's easier to try a $15 wine than it is to drop $150 on a bottle of wine and not know if you like it. So that's why I brought these because everybody can try. It's a good introduction into sparkling wines in general. And you know when you're looking at red versus white, I mean is there is there just kind of like a, a tip that you give or and I know that of course champagne is what everybody's gonna be talking about. It's um, I always tell my customers clients um, try to buy what you like because mm -hmm. you're the one with the leftover wine when everybody's done. <laughs> um, and it also shows a little bit of yourself and your taste. Um, so make sure you focus on what you like. Um, make your favorite dishes and pair it with your favorite wines. That way everybody experiences your flavor profiles. Um, don't go way out of your ballpark, but there's plenty of wine professionals that can help you pair and taste and just make it fun and exciting and not too pretentious is the key. Make it approachable. Okay, and I do, I have to ask uh, a little bit more about the, the restaurant. So as as far as, um, you know, when is your big time? You know, you were talking about sports and, you know. Yes, yeah, so, so we're college town in Oxford, Mississippi. So um, a lot like Memphis with the football game today, grew up playing against Memphis at, in college. Um, we rotate around the college football season. Fall is huge for us. Um, goes on into Christmas and then baseball season in spring. It's, it's a big deal. So fall is always a lot of fun. We have tons of people. Everybody comes to Oxford. It's, it's become a real tourist attraction. So. Um, that's probably our biggest, most exciting weekends. Um, we've got New Year's Eve, of course, coming up, which we're always excited about. We'll do specials, and it's just a big party. We, we want it to be fun and light and always a good time. All right, AJ Kayami from The Sip on South Lamar in Oxford. Thank you for helping us to balance our taste buds on New Year's Eve. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you.